Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial of LaTeX from quicklatex.blogspot.com. Today I am going to explain how to use bullets and list numbers in LaTeX. So there are three flavors in LaTeX. One is for bullets, the dotted bullets without any numbers and then you have numbers and then you have descriptions. So the bullets are plain bullets as you saw in Word. List, uh, the numbers are created using enumerate. Bullets are creating using itemize. And then the third one is description. So let's get started without much ado and jump into some coding. So you start with begin itemize. The first one, I'm going to create a bullet, a bulleted list. So you start with begin itemize and then you have to end it. And for each item, you go first bullet is here and you can add as many items as you want to add second bullet is here and if I run it here makes sense so notice that I did not put any slash slash here for new line so every item in a bulleted list um, starts in new line good enough let's go back and let's um, go to the next which is Enumerate and enumerate here item and here you'll see um let's say um this is item number one this is item number two and if we run it you see so this is with the numbers now again I did not put a slash slash even in enumerate the list are automatically um, pushed to the each item is pushed to a new line now the third one that I was going to talk about um, or I am rather going to talk about is called the descriptions a description gives um, each item a name for instance you can say begin description and end description it's a good habit to end everything that you start because in that case you'll never run into a problem of missing the um, match for a particular begin so here it's a little tricky so item and then you define the description you can go this is the first description then you go item this is the second description so here instead of numbers you see the description that you put here you could also go chapter 1 and chapter 2 this also comes handy for um, proposals when you have to say the um, deadlines that okay year one we are going to finish this one this thing and year two so those year one year two year three could, could as well be um, descriptions there are better ways to do that though but this is just handy and quick if you have a very short list now um, you can actually nest these lists you can put any of the list inside the other one and it will work just fine then the other thing if you don't want your list to start at one here in that case um, what you can do is that you can change the counter you can say set my counter to um, let's say two so in that case it will skip the first two and the numbering will start at three so three four you could go five and then it will start at six and seven so you skip those counters so you start your counter after five makes sense so it's that easy now what I told you is that every time you have to do this you um, it pushes it to the next line every item is in a separate line what if you want it to um, within a paragraph so for that we have something called mm, in para enum and in para enum so it's the inside the paragraph enumerated 
list inside the paragraph so in para enum and it goes the same way for instance here I'll copy this and I'll put it here let's see um, we need a package for that so the name of that package is Para list if I am not wrong and I guess I am not wrong let's see yeah it worked so you see these two lists these two items are in the same list for instance I can say that um, so where is this useful is that there are three advantages of this method so this is number one, number two. Um, it is faster. It is most effective, and it is efficient. And it is efficient. So, for instance, if you do something like this you'll get this kind of output. There are three advantages of this method. Number one, it is faster. Number two, it is cost effective. And number three, it is efficient. So that makes it so much easier. And if I remember correctly, you can change how it ap appears. So for instance, I just changed it to Roman. I, 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 I. And if you want to put it inside this, you can put it here. So that's how you can control it. So these are the basic lists that you want to use in your documents. Again, if you have a question or any concern, just let me know and I'll take care of it in a new tutorial. Okay, bye-bye. And before I leave, remember quicklatex.blogspot.com. And guys, if you share this, I'll appreciate it. If you like it, that way um, my channel will get more hits and it will motivate me more. Okay. Sayonara, see you next time.